county you're in or province or whatever it is. Okay. Okay, I'll give that a try. Thank you. Yeah. Do it. Full stop. Okay, so that is that. I think I've explained everything I need to. So I'm going to put actually I'll leave the document open and uh, come back. I'm going to put the document down. Let me just orientate this. Oh, there you go. Ooh. Okay, so uh, that is that. I'll open up the floor for questions. Please do not ask me reactionary questions. Okay, no reactionary questions. And also think about your questions. If you're going to make a statement, tell me, Mark, I want to make a statement. Can you check my statement is accurate? Okay, learn your communication. So if you're going to give me a recipe, thank you very much, but don't ask me about a recipe unless you tell me this is a recipe. If you're going to make a statement, make the statement, but let me know first. A question must uh, uh, sound like a question. Okay, if it's a question, you will hear it clearly. If it's a statement, you've got to qualify it. So I would be quite stringent on this. All right, so I'm now going to open up the floor for questions. Do not compete. If you compete, you will lose. Okay, okay. you will lose I'll the collective mind. Gilbert Cooper has a question. Are you Gilbert uh, Cooper? Yes, sir. Okay. My, my question is, uh, I missed the first part about the document. I was in the break room having lunch. I'm trying to look at it over all these guys fumbling on talking. And I missed the first part. Was that something that you brought up or something that I could bring up on a computer? I'll take the next question. I'm sorry, I'm not being rude with you, but I'll take the next question. Mark, the document that you're talking about and have talked about there, will it be available now for us to download? Will you have it there available for us to download? Who, who am I speaking to? It's Noel here from Derry in Northern Ireland. Yes, on the email I said I'll give you the documents, yes. Thank you. Next question. Uh, Mark, can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. I can hear you. Okay. The first important question is, I, my married name is Bianca Booth, but my birth certificate is Bianca Grzynska. So how would I write any forms? Would I put it as Bianca Grzynska or as my married name? What would you like to do, darling? <laughs> Just make it legitimate so they, they know me as Bianca Grzynska, but my passport's Bianca Booth for the last 10, 15 years. What's your first name? My birth certificate, Bianca. What's your first name? My first name is Bianca. So hold on, darling. Let me finish. Let me finish. What is your first name that's got nothing to do with your husband or has nothing to do with your father's name or your family name? Oh, okay. Bianca Teresa. You've got your answer. Next question. Yeah, Mark. Yep. This is Wooly from Chicago, Illinois. This question is. Yeah, Chicago. I'm speaking to Chicago, so everybody just uh, be quiet, please. Yes. Yeah, my question. My question is, Mark. Did I hear you correctly? Your signature and your autograph are two different things. Your signature, yes, it is. Your signature is a is a simulation of your nature. It's an artificial instrument. Your autograph is legible. Signature comes also from the word cursive, which means you're in cursive, which means you are dead. Okay, that's what so, that means. An autograph, if you want to know how to do an autograph, that's on my website. I'll leave you to it. Now, you. You are, since you're in Chicago, I've asked people to find me certain people, the county coroner there, a particular judge, and also uh, a clerk. 
that's on my website. That would really help me out if you go look for them and find I, out I, where their home addresses are. I would do that, Mark. Yes. Yeah. And I think uh, I've given everybody on the live presentation that I called their names out. If you can do that in the next few days, that'd be much appreciated because I need to have them arrested. Who do you need here in Chicago? Sorry? What are the persons you're looking for here in Chicago? It's on my website. I forgot their names, but it's a, it's a judge, a clerk of the court, a county coroner, and uh, yeah, so it's a judge, county coroner, a clerk, and a sheriff. Okay, and they're in Illinois. All right, and okay. Okay. if you I'll... email me, if you email me their names, I'll send it to you because I have so many names in my head, I can't remember who they are. Okay, I'll go on the website and look for the persons you're looking for. It's best for you to email me because my website is very large. Okay. Okay, I'll send you the email right away. Thank you very much. And say on there that I asked you, uh, you know, for you to provide me with the names of that, uh, that, okay. that judge and things, and then we can take it further because it okay. takes a lot of effort for me to do these things, you know? Yes, it does. Thank you. Will do. Yeah. Next question. I have a question. Yeah. Uh, uh, first of all, thanks for uh, giving us this information. Uh, my question is in regards to the uh, of the, the the coroner's office. Are we sending this to the coroner of our birth state or where we're currently located? Where you're currently located is where you would send it. If you want to correct the status of your place that you was birth, you can do that as well. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Next question. Hi, this is Shabad Sangeet. Um, I have, well, I've corrected my status already, so I'm not sure how that affects what you're talking about, but I wanted to ask you, what is a financial conduit authority? In this country, we call them financial uh, financial services authority that regulate the banking. And they're there pretending that they regulate banking, but they're actually giving the means for them to use your security in order to you know, create money from your securities. It's, it's, it's just an agency in this country. You have your own. It's called Securities and Exchange Commission. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Yes. Next question. Hi, Mark. Hi. Hello, Mia. Um, I'm just wondering, can a witness be a JP to sign paperwork? If you can find a Justice of the Peace, yes, but please do not confuse a Justice of the Peace with um, what is known as a public notary because a public notary only notifies actors' documents. Only actors' documents. And if you want to be an actor, you, you would go to a public notary. If you're not an actor, you're a man or woman, you would go to a, uh, a JP, which is called a Justice of the Peace. You, yes, you can have this document witnessed by a Justice of the Peace. In this country, we can't find one. But there yeah. used to be one in every library in, in England until about six or seven years ago, but they all disappeared. A, a public notary, is that the court? I don't know what that means. Okay. I've given you the designation. Yeah. A public notary is a person that, doc, that witnesses other person's documents, not the documents of men and women. A justice of the peace witnesses documents of men and women. Yes. One artificial, which is called a public notary, and another one, which is just as a piece for factual men and women. Next question, please. Um, Mark, my question is, um, in France, somebody, my recipe is, in France, somebody said that the post office, the post office here had been taken over by the I 
I can't hear you, but I can't answer the question for you. Okay. Yeah, and it does. It does not matter. Who gives a damn about who's taken over what? Long as you stick it on the post office, and you can send it to any. You can send it from any country in the world. Yeah, including Italy, Mars, wherever there's a post office. If there's one, you can send it. Okay. Mark. I will. I will accept about five more questions. But before that, I'm, I'm going to make it very clear. You guys are here uh, to spread this news amongst people that are doing the Freedom Convoy, and you're not here just for yourself. If you are just here for yourself and, you know, you want to get a freebie, I'll, I'll be very quick and strong with my language. You know, F off. F off. I'm not here to service self-interest people. I've had enough of that kind of garbage. If you want to, you know, use this, and that's what it's for, I'm happy, you know, full stop. And I'm giving these guys to you as a gift because the Canadians have asked me to do this. The Americans have asked me to do it. That's all. Okay. So I'm going to repeat myself. You're going to do nothing with this. Really F off from my course. I just leave. Okay. Just go away. Don't email me. Don't talk to me. Don't do anything. But if you want to use this to help yourselves, your family, to get out of the, the goddamn situation that you guys found yourself in because you believed everything when the banking was good, when the money was coming in, they sold you everything. Now it's not. You're crying. So I'm being very personal with you because you need to know that if you don't stop this, the Elizabeth II will successfully steal your crown and your children's crown. Okay. Now, question. Mark. Sorry. Okay. Next question, please. Hello, Mark. Mm -hmm. I'd yeah. like to ask you a question on behalf of some of my fellows and myself. Yeah, um, sure. Who is yourself and your fellow selves? That's uh, sounds like a lot, is... lot of legal fictions there. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> my name is Dylan Cag. I, I don't really think of myself as a fiction. <laughs> um, my fellows are uh, my uncle. I don't know that he would want me to present his name, and I don't know that my other fellows would like me to present a name, so I'll own this, if that's okay. Uh, then in that case, just speak for yourself and not your fellows, uh, because anybody sorry. that anybody that doesn't want to reveal their names and stuff and wants to act in the act, you know, secrecy, just... Don't bother I, me I, with it. <laughs> I just don't know, so I hear you, and it's just for me. Okay, I yeah. apologize for taking your time. I want That's to make fine. this quick. It's not complicated, I don't think. I've been really interested in this kind of information for a long time, um, but the same issue still surfaces for me, and I believe my uncle put this in the following form, very too- I'm going to pause for a minute. Everybody switch your mic off, so I don't have to do it. Remember, this is self-governance. Yeah, You govern yourself, you control yourself. Without that, you will lose your game to Queen Elizabeth II that is waiting in the corners to snatch your children. And if you think I'm joking, I have seen it. I have seen them snatch children from hospital. I have seen it. Have no mistake. Yeah, they will remove organs, sell them on, as they do in Chicago, to 100,000 babies in the last decade, which David Way Miller was dealing with until he passed away. Okay, so, uh, Daryl Darling, uh, do continue. Thank you. And to that point, um, in preparing myself to share your information, this same issue, I'll call it, keeps coming up. And I think my uncle said it very well, although I prepare you, it's very in the vernacular. I do not mean to offend anyone. Um, please, but please, very... okay, let me yeah. stop you again. Yep. Let me not get too emotional. The reason why the Canadians are doing what they're doing is because they basically said, fuck off, we're not pleasing anybody. We don't <laughs> care if we, you know, disapprove you or, you know, we're not gonna be politically polite. So you're not going to apologize for offending anybody. If anybody's offended, fuck off. <laughs> okay? Thank so you. Would, that's what that would. is. So speak freely, okay? Thank you. He would love that. He was, he was with the Canadian Army. Okay, so he's, he's presenting a scenario with three options. And so we're looking for your 
comment on this scenario with three options. So a cop or army guys of the sort, something like that, et cetera, wants to put one of us in cuffs. We spew the spew and tell them if they continue, then we will strip their badge off and arrest and detain them, etc. So what happens then? A, do they tear off their own badges and handcuff themselves? B, engage in a lively debate, a debate about the legal complexities and at the very least leave us alone? Or C, arrest us anyway, and if we resist, add it to the list of charges and taser beat the fuck out of us and ignore all the mumbo jumbo arguments. I hope that was clear. Oh, so I'll express it to you this way. Which part of the world are you in? Canada. Okay. Once you have this document and you've put it in and you have an authentic copy of it and you carry it with you and just simply show them and tell them that you're a postmaster of it, okay, and that you've been trained by me. And if, you, if they do not resist and desist in what they're doing, then you will strip them of their badge, okay? And you will call in the coroner's office to have you uh, arrested for interfering with a man or a woman. And you can dictate the, uh, detain them, okay? As far as I know, your president has, uh, sorry, the country's prime minister or president has removed the emergency, uh, the act, emergency act thing. Okay, that was under three days rescission. So that's what that is. Uh, if there are other people there and they traser you, if people don't come to their, your rescue as it were, because they're um, you know, not, you're not in their own frame of mind, then you're just dealing with cowards. I have been in situations that are, in your situation, I've done it on a much larger scale. Believe me, these things work. They have a lot of power. Yeah. Does that answer your question? Can I try to speak back to you what I think I understood? I don't want to take your yeah, time. Yeah, sure, that's fine. You, you're here to take my time, so I'm giving it freely, so you might as well make use of it. Thank you. So, one, you have had success with the people around you standing no, up no, with you. No, 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 no. I rely on nobody. I rely on nobody. I do everything I'd I do by myself for myself. And if other people join me, they join me and they become witnesses and do the same thing. You know, one, one such case is me and Alex went to Lloyds of London. He's one of the judges. And we shut down Lloyds of London for, our, you know, the period that we was there. Yeah, and that's on record and all that sort of stuff. So I rely on nobody, but you being a lady you have to rely on a man. If you can't rely on men, then you're on a different world on a different planet, <laughs> okay? That's the plain fact of it. So what I'm saying to you, you know, if, if men are too cowardly to protect their women, there's nothing I can do for them. They're, they're not de you're not dealing with men, you know? These are not men. I don't know what they are. You might need to ask the county coroner who they are. He they might find a name for them. I'm just being very direct with you. I have never relied on other people to do my fight. I've never done it and I never will. Yeah. But what I'm saying to you is that if there are witnesses and they remain calm and they have their documents at hand and you explain it to them and if they proceed any further, you will you use these words. I will call the county coroner to have you arrested. Yeah. And if you guys prove yourself, as I did with the Canadians, I can teach you to become a coroner if you wanted to as a planet potential judge, but you need to prove yourself with these things because I'm not gonna teach it to anybody. Yeah, that sort of stuff. Mark, can I ask a question? Not Rhett, because she has not finished. Okay. Does that answer your question? Uh, much more, much more. It, uh, it speaks to the um, beauty of how wonderful it is when a certain person stands stands in courage on their own to speak for who and what they believe in, regardless of... Yeah, uh, and you've been, you've been served notice hundreds of times on television, newspapers and things like that. 
by actors as well as genuine men. That includes Tiananmen Square, where the Chinese orchestrated that for the benefit of the Chinese people and saying, you can bring our armies to an end if you wanted to, by just doing this. They did that to tell Chinese people how powerful you are. But if you're going to be lambs, we'll treat you like that. Yeah, that, that was a demonstration from the Chinese government to saying that you can stop our armies if you wanted to. You can turn all our tanks around and send them back if you wanted to, but you have to be a man about it and you have to be a woman about it. We will not talk to or engage anything less than a man. And you've got to understand what a man is. You know, that's that is what a man is. Yeah. It's it's got no ego, it's got none of this bullshit ideas about something. Yeah. It talks with first hand knowledge, it talks with dignity and all that sort of stuff. Okay. And I suppose in a long, repeated, winded way, what I'm saying is that I'm not really impressed with men. I really am not impressed with men. Yeah. That's what that is. So sorry about the directness, darling, but I'm not politically shy, as it were, or correct. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you so very much. Yeah, that's fine. Um, next question. Or can I ask my question? Okay, I'm going to give you an answer now. Yeah. <laughs> Just ask it, my friend. You know? <laughs> yes. During the presentation, I asked about if you if it's a good idea if you have your live life frame with you. Yes. Going to yes. It's one of the most powerful documents you can have. And my other question is, um, is it okay if uh, I could use your videos? Because in some of your videos, sorry, sorry, you stop, you can... stop, stop, stop. If you can use what? Uh, in some of your videos, you told everybody, all of your subscribers that you can upload your videos uh, on their channel to spread uh, your message yes. to people. Yes, please do. Uh, can I use only those who you say publicly or can I ask you those specifically? Should I mail you? Can I use this one or should I just upload it? I'm sorry, I don't understand. So what I'm saying is that Anything that's in the public domain on YouTube, you can download it and upload it to your own YouTube for the purposes of making money or monetizing, etc., or to spread the news. Is that what you're asking me? Yeah, because I was asking about some of your videos. You say you can upload this on your channel to spread the word. Everything the that is in the public domain. Yeah. Okay, under Commons license on my YouTube, that's non-private, that's non-private. I'm not talking about my private videos for my students and things. I'm talking about everything that's in the public. You can download and upload it to your channel and you can do with it what you want, okay? Yes, and well, thank you. If you monetize it, you'll make money from it yeah, because my videos reach, uh, the good ones reach about 100,000, 200,000, that sort of stuff. The not so interesting ones still reach about 20,000. That's like $200 a month to you. Yeah, you know, YouTube will pay you very well because YouTube is going to become extinct very quickly. Okay. And they're trying to retain their business. All right. So you can monetize it. There are people that quite literally get a, a three, four thousand pound paycheck by uploading other people's YouTube uh, videos. Yeah, not necessarily mine, but other people's. So that all those sort of systems are in the way. What's your name, by the way? Is it Zafik? Zaf uh, Zaf Zarif. Zarif, yeah. So help yourself, Zarif. Yeah, thank you, Mark. I'm thinking more about uh, spreading your, um, your message. And... Yeah. What I'm saying to you, if you make money from it, the message will yeah. go a lot faster because YouTube yeah. likes you to make money so they can spread the money as well. So it's it's a monetary thing. Yeah, the easiest way to spend money is they're saying is that make money from it and then we'll spread the message even more because every time you make money, they make money. So <laughs> it's better than putting your money in the bank, isn't it? <laughs> Mark. Sorry about that. <laughs> all in watch Ireland. Does your does your passport number have to be an indate passport number on the letter? What did you say? What did you say? When you're using on the letter, when you're putting your passport number on, 
has it to be an in-date passport? Say if my passport is out of date last month and I haven't renewed it yet. That's fine. It's fine. You can put whatever passport you want number on it. If you want to okay. go much further, you can use your driving license if you want. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Mark, um, I have a question. Do I get this translated into French for the French people? It's up to you, darling. It's up to you. I leave it up to you. This is I've given it to you. You do what you want with it. You can also put your terms and conditions in. You know, if you know how to use these things, you can do a lot of things with it. Okay. Yeah, I'm just thinking about getting stopped by a policeman in France. But yeah, right, the other, the other thing. Listen, listen. Let's, uh, let's, uh, hold on, uh, hold on a minute, side. please. Hold on. Your signal is very poor. Your signal is very poor. And can I ask you to not go down, not go down the road of conspiracy, and also you know fear mongering and things? There's nothing wrong with being stopped by the police. Nothing wrong whatsoever. Yeah. Have you, has it ever occurred to you they're just checking on you? You know, uh, given the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, that sort of stuff. Okay, so don't go conspiratorial over it. You can translate it to whatever language you want, but just make sure that your translation means exactly what it means, rather than you know ordering a baguette for the lunch, as it were. Okay. Well, the good thing is I've got a French solicitor who isn't into all the vaccinations, conspiracy and all that. So he's... Uh, look, if you hire a solicitor, he's, he is an agent of the Crown and his job is to make sure that it, it rewards it. OK, so solicitors cannot help you. Uh, lawyers cannot help you because I've just given you all powers of attorney. And if you don't understand that, you don't need a judge, you don't need a lawyer then I have not communicated my message correctly with you. The reason you... why you hire a lawyer is because you are unable to read and write and you have become a ward of the court. The reason why you hire an accountant is because you can't count your own goddamn money and yeah. therefore you are innumerate. You are giving evidence how innumerate, how illiterate you are when you hire people to do your job. Okay? No, what, I meant, yeah. what I meant was he's a friend of mine and he's against all that's happening. That's he's fine, a... darling. That's fine. But he has to work in his private capacity with you. He can't do it yeah. in his public capacity yeah, he because is. he's only an actor for the crown and he'll screw you up. Otherwise, he'll lose his license. And he's not going to lose a license, which he makes several hundred thousand pounds with just to help you. OK. Can you mention the white flag to the Canadians? In the Australian. Any flag that you fly, if you don't have custody of it, somebody else has, you are supporting them. Canadian flag is a corporate flag. You can fly, fly a white flag and put your own terms and conditions in. You can just call it a peace flag, communication flag, you know, happy McDonald flag, as long as you're not using a corporate flag. Okay. Mark. Yeah. The the names of, it's all here from Derry and Ireland. The names of the people that you're looking for, but, uh, are they on the website? Uh, we run a we website called commonlawsense.org and uh, we would have good connections here in Ireland. We're running a gathering of the clans this year, so we could probably find some of these people for you. Yes, please. You know, um, can you email me to us for, to provide you with that list and we'll send you that list. And I don't know if it's on my website because I don't control it. Other people do. I'm in control of it, but I don't have any IT skills to control it. That's all that is. Okay. No so email me. Make sure you say that I said so about the people we're looking for in Ireland. Otherwise, the staff will get confused. Okay. Right. Mark, thank you very much. All right. I'm happy to take, uh, shall we say, another four questions and then we'll call it a day. Okay. Um, I have a question. Sorry, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Um, it's Karen. I'm from South Africa. Um, I just wanted to find out on the letter where you've got um, Commonwealth and then you put the, whichever Commonwealth, what would you do for South Africa? Well, first of all, check if the uh, South Africa is part of the Commonwealth, which I can do I now. I don't think that they are. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think that they are any longer. Well, I, I will give you an answer in a few seconds, shall I? Thank you.
Is South Africa part of the Commonwealth? According to Wikipedia, South Africa was readmitted to the Commonwealth in 1994, following its first multiracial elections that year. Oh, oh my gosh. That's okay. So the okay. transfer of sovereignty over <clears throat> Hong Kong in 1997 handed the territory state as part of the Commonwealth through the United Kingdom. So South Africa, it says, was readmitted to the Commonwealth in 1994. And do you know which son of a bitch did that for you? Nelson Mandela. Correct. Yeah. That is, my, my gosh, that is very interesting. Okay. All right, so Commonwealth of South Africa then. Okay, thank you very but much. You, you check it. Wikipedia will give you all this information. So will your own consulate give you that information. Okay. And then, sorry, just one more question quickly. This letter as well, can, do you, can you use this? Um, um, is, I know to send to the coroner, but can you use it for back if you have a mortgage? I don't know. I've never done it for a mortgage in that sense. And I'm only okay. teaching people, you know, for these, you know, removing and getting your crown back, not solving your mortgage. Yeah, full stop. As far as I know, I'm the only one that's capable of doing it. And that's okay. a long journey. And you have to pay for that. Okay. okay. But right. if you wish to experiment with it, you know, a happy experiment with it. But I can't take responsibility for it. Because okay. remember, I take responsibility for everything. Yes, I say I so. Yeah. But I yeah. can't take responsibility for that because I've never used it for that reason in that way. Okay. Okay. If I'm correct, you should be able to have a great deal of success. But South Africa is a country of absolute brutes. Okay. You have private armies in your country that, that yeah. is stealing your property. That's Vanguard. That's the Vanguard group through yeah. BlackRock stealing hundreds of your properties because you went and ticked that box called white South African, black South African, colored South African and shot yourself in your foot. If only we'd known better. Oh, yes, yeah. you knew better. It's just when you understand the psychology of it, you will understand they learn how to speak to your spirit. That's called your mm -hmm. subconscious mind. And since you gave up your subconscious mind for the almighty dollar, they treat you with absolute contempt. And when you practice apartheid, uh, you, show, you prove them that you are below men and women. Yeah, and that's yeah. why the world was never told that your number one artist was a black Mexican singer called Rodicus, who was the champion for over like 30, 40 years. It's yeah. because the world of fiction does incredible things to twist the minds of people. All we knew is that you were racist, bigoted people. But in reality, I know your country very well. At that time, I was going out with a um, oh, gosh, that was a very long time ago. <laughs> but she was South African and uh, she used to educate me on it. And she used to do lectures oh. on South African culture, oh. especially the uh, variety of races then, you know? Yeah, plenty of them. Yeah. So Excuse that's... me, Mark. Um, are you, this is Alex from Florida. I have a quick question for you. Yeah, sure. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Um, with the witnesses for the for the form, do they have to be live life claimants? No. Because I this has got nothing to do with live life claimants. No, the witnesses, the people who witnessed the form. Like I've answered your question, which is no, they do not need to be, but they just need to be knowing you because anybody that witnesses you without knowing you has already committed a felony. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. All right. Mark uh, and Louise. Mer sorry. Yeah, Louise. Hello uh, from the west of Ireland. Mark, can I just ask if um, we get into altercation with the uh, forces of the law? Are we in the same position as the Canadians? Can we ask them to call the coroner's office uh, when we present this uh, notice? No, that's not what I said. Uh, why would you get yourself into an altercation? Mm. Yeah, you're yeah. carrying a document, you've told them what it is, and if you interfere with the movements of men and women, we will call, I will call the county coroner and have you arrested. How would you like to proceed? Okay. 
Okay, just well, that. Thank you. Mark, this is Michael in Ireland. Um, do we put in the Central Bank of Ireland instead of the Financial Conduct Authority? I wouldn't know because who controls and polices your banking, I don't know. Uh, the Central Bank of Ireland. The Central Bank of Ireland. I have hundreds of clients in your country and I cannot remember, so I'm not going to give you an answer. Okay. But any one of your research will be able to find that out. I actually forgotten. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Sorry. Hi, Mark. It's Corey Thank here you. from Canada. Sorry. All right. I just want to know how we can use this document to protect our sons and daughters, um, especially if they're too young to write their own autograph. Would we just put their uh, thumbprint on there? Yeah, you'll create a, a line saying that they are, what would be a better word for children? Children means world of state. Uh, somebody help me out here. What would be a better word than Offspring. children? Offspring. 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 Yeah, offspring yeah. essentially means you're going to cut off spring. Young men, young women. Yes, exactly. Heirs? Daughters. Would they be our heirs? Yeah, heirs is good. Yeah. Okay. And okay. also master is good. And master. Daughter. Master is okay. good. Heirs is okay as well. Yeah. Sons and daughters. Yeah, sons and daughters. That's really good. See, that's why you have all of these words. Each word opens a contract. Yeah. Each word opens a contract. If, if, you, if you knew these words correctly, you will be able to even open up your genetic code because oh. genetic op, genetics works on par se. The parts of a, a word, parts of a speech, they recognize it and they come alive and go to sleep in, on command from you or other people. Have no mistake, the reason why they are able to do what they're doing is because they're in control of your genie, which is another word for genetic code. That's how they've took your genuinity away from you, your authority away from you, uh, your uh, and everything pertaining to a genie. OK, it's all one word. And I for, for some reason, I'm the only one that seems to know this or spread this information. The rest just well, talk, you know. I don't know why, but that's that's the situation I find myself in. Hi, Mark. Can we download this uh, this coroner's form and share it? Is that okay? I'm not sure what you're asking me, darling. This form that you've just showed us. Um, can can we share this form to to everybody, like the Freedom Convoy, everyone? That is correct. They can yes. all print their own. Yes, yes that yes. is correct. Make it your own. Share it with anybody you want. Yeah. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. I'm Samantha from Jamaica. Okay, so uh, my question is: um, Is the document that you just shared is it the same as um, nationalization? I have no idea what that means. Um, it's a document that I was always told about that you have to do a nationalization so you can come from under the corporation. Yes, this would cover that. The, now, it's not the same thing, but you can okay. use it for that reason as well. Okay. okay. How can I get a live life plan, please? You go to my website, you pay for it, and you'll get all the information. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Hi, Mark. Yeah, hi. Hi. Am I on? Someone else? I oh, can hear Gil you. Yeah, yeah. I can hear you. I think your name is Cooper, so just ask what you need to ask. Do you do you have to put uh, one stamp on each uh, page, uh, page of your letters? No, just uh, just at the back is fine. The uh, the one at the bottom where the autograph is is the registered post sticker, the registered post sticker, okay, not certified mail in the U.S. but registered post sticker. If you're going to hand deliver it, then you hand deliver it with post with proof. If you want to use a service processor because 
you just don't want to have a drive, help yourself. You know, they'll do a good job, a service processor. And you can, if you know the address, you can serve it in hand at their own home address, including your prime minister, coroner, judge, anybody in the world. Okay. Everybody's official is under what is known as the private public pri partnership. So they can't hide in the private. Okay. Okay. Mark, is Gilbert going to speak now? Yes, I have my uh, question, Mark, was uh, do you have anyone in Houston, Texas that you're looking for on your list of names? Uh, I don't. No, I don't. The reason why we're looking for the Chicago people is because they've been giving me a lot of trouble. Uh, that's that's the reason why. I didn't know it was a rogue uh, state. I didn't think you had rogue states in the United States, but wow. you know, I've never heard of a rogue state. Actually, I've not even heard of a, a rogue country. I've heard of a rogue man or a woman oh. that's gone a bit berserk. But a state that's. Uh, that's a peculiar state of affairs, isn't it? A rogue state, you know. How does a state go rogue? <laughs> that means Washington, D.C. has lost control of it, yeah? Hi, Mark. Okay. Yes, Mark. Um, Samantha again. Um, how do I get the document that you have just shared? I said I'll send it to everybody. Okay. Okay, thank you. Hi Mark. Hi, Mark. You? Oh gosh. <laughs> One at a time. Um, do I send a copy? Do I send a copy? Do I keep the original for myself? How do we process this? You can send a, a copy of it or you can send the original, but you must always keep a record of it for yourself called your court of record. Okay. For oh, sure. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Hello. Now, every everybody Good understands. Day. Everybody understands that I'm I'm doing this for the benefit of mankind, not humankind. Yes, sir. Every everybody understands that. Okay, yes. and I'm doing it because Canadians have asked me to do it, and some other people asked me to do it, and I thought it'd be a right time to release this type of information. Okay. Oh, I it uh, I'm important to send this off to all the groups that we know to get it out quickly, especially like Ireland. Well, you've, in Ireland, you've got about five days until Prince Charles comes. He'll come to remove the sweat equity of your nation. If you don't bring your nation out, do what the Canadians are doing, you will lose your country. But we need to get this 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 paperwork out to everybody in Ireland and Canada and stuff quickly, ASAP, before we do anything for ourselves. I'll, I'll leave I'll leave it up to you, darling. You know? It won't get anywhere if we don't make it its uh, top priority. It won't get now, what I'm saying to you is, get on with it, and enjoy the journey. Okay. Hi, Mark. Yep. I'm in the New York um, state. Um, are you looking for anyone in New York? For what? Um, for any rogue um, agents or agency? Uh, email me, and if we do, I will send the information to you, okay? Okay, I will. All right, you're welcome. Thank you very Hi, much. Mark. For the, thank you very much for the offer. Hi, Mark. This is Carol from Spain. Hello, Carol. Can you hear me? Yeah. Thank you, excellent. Thank you for everyone that supports me to be putting my uh, my hand up. Um, Mark, I want to stand in this question for people that probably share in the same condition that I'm living, men and women. Uh, I hold three different passports. I was born in a, in a country. My parents come from different countries in Europe. I'm South American and I hold three different nationalities. So my question, very important for men and women all over the world that have been uh, grandchildren or daughters and, and, and sons from uh, war people is what do we do related to the different nationalities that we have? And I, now I'm a citizen in Spain. So 
I would say I have four different governments to send my documents. Thank you so much. You've answered your own question. You've got a few posting to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Next. <laughs> yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Um, Hello. I have a question. Hi, I'm from Croatia, and uh, I'm wondering how to how to translate this to to my language because all these terms are completely unfamiliar to me, like a foreigner. I never Darling. heard. Darling. Uh, yes, I can't help you. Okay. But if you want to put your money where your mouth is, go and hire a translator. It'll probably charge you about two, three hundred euros if you guys use euros, mm -hmm. and then you can qualify it. Yeah, that's what I would do. Uh, I have a question, Mark. Um, so, does that answer your question, Sandra? Uh, yes. Um, I mean, I really would like to help, and um, but I can't say I really. Um, um, we can wrap my head around this for the moment. I hope I can find more information. And you're you're, you're not probably ready for it. That's all. Okay. Yeah, that's all. So just be honest <laughs> with yourself, and just leave it be. Yeah. When you're ready for it, you'll understand it. But for the time being, if you're not ready, don't don't do it because you don't know what you're doing. All right. Okay. That's all. So just direct, just directing you, uh, straightforward. Okay. Okay, anybody else? Uh, yeah, I have a question, Mark. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, that's good. Um, can we still help the vaccinated or have they lost their corona, as you were saying? I don't know. But, you know, these documents can stop and correct anything in its place. The vaccines are more to do with nanotechnologies and transmitters, which they will probably switch off. Yeah. When you say, you know, can you help people with that vaccinated? What what does that mean? So have, what I'm trying to say is, have they already lost their corona, basically? No, when they, you know, when they know that something bad has happened, they can correct it. No, nobody's ever devoid of anything. It's all done by consent. But I've never been able to help anybody that's already gone through this system. They usually are usually deaf, dumb and blind. Yeah, yeah. You you really look. Uh, it's your name is Gary Christopher, isn't it? Yeah. Look, Gary Christopher. There are certain realities you must accept. People are extremely stupid and dumb, and walk themselves into all manner of situations. And anybody that believes the things that the government tells them and allows themselves to be vaccinated, have already proved themselves to be beyond your help. Yeah. Okay. And that includes your children. That includes whoever bypassed it. Because if they bypass logic, if, if people don't know what a chromio, uh, Omicron is, then you can never explain anything to them. Yeah. If you take out a dictionary and show them what the corona is, and you tell them it's just a cold, and they, then they still go ahead with it, there's nothing you can do. And I would not have anything to do with them. That's why I'm so direct and kind of blunt, as it were. You know, that's all. I, I'm letting yeah. you know that you, someday you're going to have to accept that you're actually dealing with walking, talking oxymorons. And the legal word for that is called zombie. Okay. Mark, on your letter, under your address, you put England nation. Uh, this is Jaquiris Bay. I'm out here in California. Uh, I know that... Uh, so you would be called Californian. Californian. So California Nation is what I would put. You would put Californian. Co copy that. Thank you. Yeah. American Nation is what it would be. Thank you, sir. Now, would I put both or just one? It's up to you. If you feel I you're an American, help yourself. If you believe that you're a Californian... I should say, you know, certified fornicator, help yourself. <laughs> now, uh, what if I know that I'm something that predated both of those? Like what? 
like uh, uh, Al Moroccan. What the hell does that mean, Al Moroccan? Um, well, so uh, Al Morocco, as I understood, was a name of this land before uh, colonization. How? Where did you get this information from? Uh, I've uh, uh, various places have, have shared this various sources uh, over the last couple of years. So, um, if that's I'll a mistake, tell you a little secret. Yes, sir. When you give something a name, you can you have power over it. That's why they give things names. Okay. okay. Um, this is why the men and women that were native to that part of the world that we call America or any of these continents never gave the landmass a name, but they rather just give it a title like Mother Earth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they didn't want dominion over it or control over it. When I give you a name, I control you because you adopted that name and your, and your spirit, your genie will surrender to me. That happens all the time when you fill in an online form and they tell you to submit. And yet if I come up to you and said, submit to me, you're likely to punch me in the mouth, but you won't do it to your government. And they're telling you all the time, submit, 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 submit. It's in your face, but you just don't believe it. I do yeah. know. Can you imagine your next door neighbor saying, coming up and say, submit, submit, submit. You're going to come fighting out. But when the government does it for you, people just roll over and say, okay, I submit. <laughs> so how, how, how would I address that then without succumbing? I have to no that? evidence of what you're talking about, so I am unable to answer that question. <clears throat> Copy that. Thank you. Yeah. Can I ask a question? Yeah, sure. Um, if I, I'm Jane from Ireland, if I submit this letter tomorrow to the coroner, what is my response or reply that I'm going to get for them? from them and hopefully within the next five days. If they accept the document, they might write back to you. If they don't write back to you, they've accepted the document. That's how it's written out. And does that mean that I have my own power of attorney back? You have always had your own power of attorney. You've just simply corrected- I've just declared to them. No, you're not declaring nothing. You're just helping the coroner out to say, hey, just in case you've got me in your morgue as a dead entity, I'm just right. showing you signs of life. That's right, all. thank you. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, absolutely. I have a question. May I? Just yeah. you. Yeah, okay. Mark, Mark, I have so to leave uh, the call. Yeah. Okay. I want to thank you, Mark, before I have to leave. All right, darling. Thank Enjoy you so yourself. much for every word. I understand almost everything that you've said. I just want you to know that it's not. Thank you I'm very not, much. I'm not ignorant. Thanks to you and your videos. I appreciate it. And I'll be in touch by email. I'm from Connecticut and I will um, email you if there's any names and addresses you need from there. Yeah, and I'll speak. yeah that's fine. Thank you very much for the offer. And uh, I'll leave you alone, Elaine. Right now. Okay. Thank right. you. Bye bye. Thank so you. look, okay. I'll take two more questions, okay, and then yeah, I'll call uh, it tonight. Can I, can I uh, ask my question? Because yeah, sure. <laughs> I, I've been yeah. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much for for the opportunity to 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 learn. Uh, I, I I've been um, trying to reach the the meeting before, but it was full. So I, I want to know uh, if it will be possible for us to get the, the record as it is recording? Yes. Great. And uh, yeah, my, my question is uh, very factual now because um, for it, I have to uh, renew my passport and uh, I have to uh, also sign a power of attorney to um, my friends. I've, I'm from Ivory Coast, okay? I live in France and my mother uh, died a uh, year before and I have to sign a document uh, to give my power of attorney to my friends so that they can, they can make some transactions on, on my mother account. So yeah. I know now 
uh, that it is not something very, uh, um, it's very sensitive for me to do that because I'm political Sorry. activist and I'm so, trying to, to, uh, to, I mean, to push this uh, informations uh, okay. toward the can people. I, can I stop you? Stop yes, stop please. You. If I wanted to sign a power of attorney to my friends, I have no problem with it. Okay. What's the point of having friends if you can't give them power of attorney? I have over power, power of attorney of over probably five, 600 people. Yeah, for what I do. So they trust me and I trust them and that's that. What's the problem? You know, if, you, if you're asking me, how can I control it? Well, you put the times that it starts and the time it expires. That's all. Yeah. Okay, so so you, would give, you would give them 30 days to conduct your affairs. Okay. And you can call it a specific power of attorney, which means that you're giving them directions rather than general powers of attorney. That is something that seldomly you want to give up. Yeah, it's called a specific power of attorney, but that's not what we was here to discuss about. Okay. okay. So if you have friends and you trust them, what's the problem? Okay. And uh, also uh, for, for, for renewing my, my, my passport, I mean, if I renew my passport uh, and they keep my name in capital as a... They will always keep your name in capital. It's yeah. how you autograph your name that allows you to do business as a man or woman or as the artificial person. Okay. I, I'm Look, not I, I really didn't want to talk about passports and... Ah. I just wanted to tell you how to correct your status so you can protect yourself from the brute forces that are coming out against okay. the Canadians and all this stuff, because this is going global, okay? Whether you like it or not, it's, going, it's already gone global, and it hasn't ended in uh, Canada. It's gathering forces in the U.S. as we speak. Yes, sir. That's what that is. Uh, also okay. in Africa, we, we, are, we are willing to, uh, to push the movement so that we can uh, also take part in the... In, in the uh... I mean, that's fantastic. You know, that's really fantastic. Yeah. I, I am a pessif pessimist, yeah, in many senses. And uh, I don't believe anybody in anything that they say unless they demonstrate it. So okay. <laughs> that's what it is. Yes, that's sir. why I'm talking to you guys because you're willing to do something. And that's it. So I will leave it in your hands, but I don't trust any single one of you to do what you say you're going to do, except uh -huh. when you've done it. If you okay. haven't done it, that's your business, and I've just wasted my time. Okay? No. Oh, so, you don't waste your time more. Yeah. So those people that are going to do something, they already get on with it. Those people that talk and doing it for personal reasons, they never get any far, far, and I just leave that up to them. That's why I'm very direct with these things because I've got 12 years of experience with dealing with all manner of psychological types, some so monstrous that, you know, they are so intoxic and so some so kind and so angelic that it's a blessing to know them. I've, I've met all manner of walks of life. Okay. Mark, uh, if I could ask you just one question. Thank you. Uh, You're welcome. Uh, for, first of all, thanks for everything. And I, we're, we're running a wee thing here in Ireland and was wondering, would you ever think of a visit in Ireland that we made you a special guest or, 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 or offered out you know, to come over and give a talk or anything? Would you be interested in maybe trying to do it for us? No, uh, no not at all. I wouldn't not do it. Not so I, I've been in your country so many times and all I've been met with is very good men and women that want to do things and allow them to be, allow themselves to be thwarted by these half-witted common law societies and the rest of it that didn't want to go anywhere near, anywhere near what I was teaching them because they didn't want it, because they felt left behind. I, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm not short of words and I am not, uh, I'm not politically correct. I've, I've never had a good meeting, and I've had many in your country. I'm the first trainer in your country to come over and teach you these things. Yeah, and all I ever receive there is like a small group of men and women, okay, and that's it. The rest, all they do is just talk, 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 make a lot of statements, 
pretend that they've done this, so not. They even come up to and say, oh, Bob, but we are constitutional experts. And I say to them, how is that going? Well, what do you mean? How is it going? You're experts in it. How is it going? How have you succeeded? What have you done? You know, well, what, what do you mean? It's like, I, and I just tell them, please, F off, go away. You know, you don't belong here, go away. That's why I've been in your television stations. I've been in your newspapers, not just once, but multiple times, every time I hold a conference, because your country and the small group of men and women that work for these people and the hatred that they have for people that succeed, that is very unique in your country, I've always tried to throw water it. But most people that want my aid or my training or paid for services, uh, that's all you come to me and that'll be done. But I would never speak to any groups that you yourself have not qualified by every single name. I know I understand what you're saying. And the, what we're doing is we're going to qualify every single person on that. But I do appreciate what you're saying. Yeah, Mark. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that's fine. I'm just being direct. I have one of the largest uh, following studentships in your country. Yeah. Yeah. And the only way that I get to keep them safe is to keep them private. Yeah. You know, it took me like so long to get Irene to come out, but the others, they won't come out because they're saying all they do, Mark, is just try to sabotage what we're trying to do because they don't want us to do it. And the reason why they don't want us to do it is because they feel left behind. Ego. I don't know, but what I'm saying to you is that you don't training. need my training. I've given you 90% of all the information on YouTube. Yeah, my Tricks and Traps University students have a great deal of knowledge because they paid for these things and I've spent years training them. Yeah, yeah that's that. what that is. But that's a different level. But I've given you to do everything that you need without any of my help. You don't ever need my help. You don't need it. That's that's what I do. When I when I show you something, it's been done by me. It's been qualified. You don't ever, if I teach you football, you don't ever need a football coach. Yeah. Because, you know, that's yeah. what that is. So everything I've given you is qualified. I've used it myself, etc. Blah, blah, blah. And that's not even written in Miller's technology because you guys will be will not be able to touch Miller's technology yet. That's all that is, yeah? Yeah, thank you. Okay, so you don't need my help. That's what it's about. And my hope is that I've explained to you, you don't need anybody's help. The reason why you are doing what you're doing, the Canadians are doing what they're doing, is because they don't want a leader. They're yeah. leaderless. And that's why there is no organizers. That's all false. The newspapers are telling you lies. They don't have any leaders. They don't have any organizers. Every man and woman has come up on the street saying, I am not going to accept this. I'm doing this for myself. And all of us agree we're doing it for ourselves. And we have one purpose. You're not going to force these things on us. If you do, we're going to grab you by the throat. And we're going to hold on until you expire. Amen. Okay. Class, Mark. Class. Yeah, that, that's all that is. Yeah. So I'm sorry to give you such direct answers, but... Uh, I've had so much experience in so, many, in so many countries. It's just unbelievable. And I've never really had a, a good reception in Ireland. Every time well, I come. I can assure you this, Mark, I want to interrupt you. If you came to my, if you came to my home, you would get a great reception and you would get a, a, a welcome on the mat. That's always okay. been. Okay, so I can assure you If that. you guys need, you know, if you Irish people need personal training and you're willing to pay for it, I'll be happy to do that. Okay. Yeah, but in, in, in reality, I don't have the time. That's why I've done this for you guys for free. So you can go, go ahead with it. And I want to make it very clear. You don't need me. That, that world has come to an end. You don't need solicitors. You don't need judges and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, that's all that is. So. Well, can I ask a question? Yeah, somebody wanted to ask a question. Hi, Mark. My, my name's Daniel. I'm uh, from the UK, but currently living in Ghana. Um, I've been searching online as you speak for the coroner of Ghana, and it's referring to them as the district magistrate. 
Would that be correct? I wouldn't. I couldn't uh, help you. Um, district ma magistrates. Anybody can be a coroner. Okay. okay. But if it, if it says they're not the coroner, then they're not the coroner. You know, okay. a coroner is mostly a lawyer, a judge, uh, something like that. Okay. Uh, so I couldn't help you because I don't have any experience in Ghana. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Is this Hi. Africa, Ghana, we're talking about? Yeah, west of Africa, west coast of Africa. Is it, uh, is it part of the Commonwealth? It is, yes. Oh, then it would have a coroner. Okay. Okay. Crown, I've crown just, appointed coroner. I've just been searching online and, is you know, corona is coming up with, with a lot of the virus stuff so that yeah not corona coroner yeah corona but that's what's coming up you need to put um, out coroner's court local coroner's court or county coroner's court in whichever county you're in or province or whatever it is okay okay i'll give that a try thank you yeah okay uh just one more question ladies and gentlemen and then i need to Mark, I need to ask this on behalf of sharing this information for many people. Yeah, um, sure. I'm going to get this question and I need to be able to look them in the eye and tell them yeah, the truth. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Possible. Great. So please, will people who send in this letter be giving up any benefits paid by the de facto government, such as pensions, employment insurance, income support? Not Nothing of that I know of. Okay. Thank you yeah. so much. Nothing that I know of. Uh, Pensions and stuff, those, those are things that are owned by these governments and things like that. I've never heard of it, but if they feel uncomfortable with it, make sure they don't do it. Okay? Okay. Thank you. Mark, you were in Houston, Mark. Uh, I just want to thank you for answering to my email. So my wife knows that it is real. What does that mean? Your wife knows it's real? Well, I've been explaining to her that I've watched your videos and I'm letting her know that this guy's got nothing to hide. He's got nothing to hide from us. Why would he? So she's just having a hard time. Like most everybody else that I talk to here, it's like, it's just like you said, they're under a goddamn spell, <laughs> you know? And uh, it just amazes me, <laughs> but I'm gonna keep pushing regardless. I'm gonna keep pushing. I'm gonna keep pushing because I'm gonna get mine. If nobody else wants theirs, I'm damn sure gonna get mine and help who I can. Thanks to you. Well, f thank you very much for the vote of confidence. Let me say this then before I leave. The, uh, the reason what, what I'm talking about makes sense because it follows a sequence of events and logic. You know, if my mouthpiece fell off, that document will still speak for itself. Right. Because you can, you can self-qualify what the words mean. And that's what's that the nature of autonomous. Yeah, so they... They speak for themselves and you follow the logic. You don't follow me because I'm not a leader. Yeah, I'm not a leader, nor do I want to be a leader. Right. Because it speaks for yourself. Yeah, that's what that's yeah. about. So, and the reason why, you know, I always talk about penalty of perjury and geometric level playing field is because I ain't lying to you. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm direct and I ain't lying to you. Like the lady that asked me, you know, would, would they lose their pensions? The answer is, I don't know but I've never heard of it. Right. Yeah, never heard of it. That's that. You know, like Daniel, he asked me about the county coroner. If it's Commonwealth, it's almost certainly it has a coroner in place. Okay. That's all that is. I don't, I'm not exaggerating it. I'm not underplaying it. I'm just talking to you on a geometric level playing field under the penalty of perjury with my oath in hand as it were. Love it. Love it. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Enjoy yourself. All right, Mr. Mark. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Bye-bye. Oh, Thank you. Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Infinite divine blessing to you. Let's make it happen, y'all. Let's make it happen. Thank you very much, Mark. First thing first. Thank you very much, everybody. And Thank Mark, you. With that document, Fantastic. would we put Wonderful. all the artificial persons or all the legal fiction? I'm not can't answer any more questions. We're done. We're, I'm saying okay. goodbye.
<laughs> goodbye. <laughs> I know. Well, Thank you. To, all you guys need to say is goodbye. That's all. <laughs> Bye. 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 Mark, you rock. <laughs> Thank you. Peace, Mark. Oh, dear. Bye, Mark. Bye. Bye. Yeah, he, email me. <laughs> oh, I've, I've emailed you for the list already yesterday.